right. So what I want to do is a uh, video I asked on YouTube how to make some uh, pump. So I've been using um, a hand pump sprayer. It's like a two gallon to do paper sealing. So what I want to do today is just kind of help anybody out who I needed help. So I'm just trying to share the love. What I'm going to build is a um, just a five gallon pump lid sprayer. So this is a Seaflow uh, water pressure pump. It's just a one gallon. It's like, here's the box. It was like $27. So you can have someone build one of these for you. They're going to charge you about $400. But I figured I'd just kind of show you the parts, what I have, and go from there. So to the Seaflow, you're going to need... Um, this this is a solo universal 28 inch uh, spray wand. So with that, um, it comes with this straight. Um, if you look, just, uh, the small little spray tip on there. What you can do is go buy the package, and it's it has several different style tips on here. I'm just going to do different fan tips because you want you realistically want it to fan out when you spray. So. Um, just buy this as separately. Um, and then I have the, let's see, this is the 90. This is a 3 8 inch barb into a half inch. So what this is going to do is going to go on top here like that. And obviously that will go over top like here. We're going to put it on top of the lid. This will be underneath. This is another 3 8 barb and that's a half inch male. So we're going to put it into here and this is going into a half inch bulkhead, this whole piece. So basically what you have is three pieces here. This is going to go underneath. This will come out the bottom, connect the hose to the bottom. So this is going to point towards this pump in this direction. So you're going to add a three eighths uh, diameter between these two and allow the water to pump out that way. So in addition to that, I have a DeWalt. I just have DeWalt. You can probably get whatever other batteries you have. This is a uh, battery adapter. So you just want to make sure it slides on correctly. This one was, what did I pay for it? Uh, eight bucks for this thing. This one comes with an on-off uh, switch in addition to a fuse. Real easy to connect. I already tried it once. It came on. Just run the wires. Boom, boom. Comes on. Uh, anything else? Clamps. We got little clamps here. What this is going to be for is inside the bucket, you're going to run your hose connected to the bottom, the bottom of this uh, barb. You're just going to go straight down in the bucket. Well, you know this hose is kinked in a circle. So what you'll do is run this through so that it stays straight up and down. And then you're just going to drop it into this bucket like so. And that way it's sitting flat inside. You'll just obviously cut the PVC, which this is at three, three quarters, because you want it bigger than your, your hose line, and just drop it in the bottom. Keep it nice and straight. A uh, couple zip ties, and I'll show you what those are for. Well, and that's pretty much it. So I'm literally sitting less than a hundred bucks with all this stuff, so not, not a big deal. So I'll, if you want to come closer, I'll show you basically what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take this, um, cut my hole out and what you want to do is you want to line this up properly so that everything prior to cutting make sure you're lined up properly so we're gonna go here this is gonna go to where it feeds directly here to here and then your battery you want to make sure you have space to remove this battery because um, if not you'll be bumping it if you put it here so put lay it all out first it gives you an idea how how you're gonna do it and then you can cut your holes or drill however you're going to do. Um, you can just, these have four holes here. I'm just going to use regular screws. That way, when it goes out, which it will, I'll just remove them. Um, same with this. I was trying to find some other screws, but I'm just going to put these in. Make sure these go down inside so that it's nice and flush for the battery to lay inside. All right, let's do the build. Okay. So. on here all right 
ましたという。Our pump, which is going to be, I tried to mark some spots here. Let me do it all. Right about there. All right. And then we're going to zap these in. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I want to line these up, make sure we're even with this. That way we get a straight shot on the pipe there. That doesn't feel real good, kind of holding in pressure. We'll... But we'll, we'll try it out. Worst case, I can swap them out with some screws. Looks cheesy. Oh. So now we're going to add this barb to the bottom here. Okay, so here we got screws are already in. Um, do the battery. So we'll just do a little test run just to make sure it's working properly. This came with it um, with the battery adapter. Makes it a little easier. And you can cut these down so you don't have wires hanging all over the place. Make it look a little bit nicer. Maybe a zip tie or something if you wanted to. Uh, put the battery on. And then realistically, water should shoot out of here. So, okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is gonna cut my hose the distance here to ensure I get one straight tube. And what I'm looking at is right about there. All right, and then we'll add the clamps on here. Want two. And for each side, make sure we can have access to the screws. Put this one on there. So I got the pipe on, the pipe, the hose on. So I would suggest going, these are three eighths. I would suggest going one size bigger. They were so close that I had to take them apart and then put them back on. So go one size bigger on those. All right. Added the pipe to the bottom, the tube to the bottom, connecting it here with the clamp and then adding the PVC. So what this does, in addition to a small uh, zip tie, the zip tie will stop from sliding out. So we we'll just rest it in there just like this. Make sure the wires are out of the way. Clamp it on. And I want to show you real quick because I had the other um, hose, but I just went ahead and used this one. Um, I just thought maybe it looked better, but I'll change this out and we'll spray it. Tip. So I tried. I I purchased um, some different fan tips, which I showed earlier in the video, but they did not fit to this solo wand. Um, Universal is supposed to fit. So all I did is cut a little hole in the top of that just to make it bigger. Um, and also on here, on this um, pump here, there's a little Allen wrench that you have to use to adjust it. So when it starts, it's just this little hole right here. So whenever it starts. Um, kind of bubbling back and forth and it's not feeding all the way through in this tube, you just adjust it until it starts to fan out correctly or, or pump through correctly. So right now all I have is water in here. So. Uh, all right, that's it. So Less than, a, uh, less than 100 bucks for this uh, pump system. Not sure how long it'll last because you are, I'll be pumping chlor or um, not chlorine, but sealer through this. So we'll see how long it actually lasts, but it seems pretty cool. Later.